everybody, welcome to day one of the PGA Tour 2K21 Golden Goblet. I, as always, am your host, uh, sportscaster voice Ryan, Northern Lion, coming at you again. Having uh, previously done two golf club Golden Goblets, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling like it's it's going to be a fun time. Uh, Malf has the advantage, I think, just he's, he was really good at the golf club 2019 when he put his mind to it. On the stream, we're about even, because we're all distracted with banter. But, you know, when we, we were talking a Golden Goblet situation, the man crushed it so much that we needed a handicap for Dan and myself in the next round. But we're going to play Scratch Golf. We're doing the front nine of seven different courses. You know the rules. Oh, ho, oh, Borvat. Look at that. Looking at my drip, looking at your drip. Whoa. Um, it's very simple. You know, we're just trying to... Uh, get the lowest score possible. If you've never played golf before, we're trying to get the lowest score possible here in the brand new golf club game. Now, I gotta say, I would love to do some practice swings. You get to use putt resin. If you haven't seen the Northern Lion tries, you get to use putt resin, which allows you to see where your putt's gonna go three times per round. So I think management of that is gonna be pretty important. Now, I, I, we just want to land it here. The wind is quite nice. The fairway is pretty lean, though. Just practicing. Practicing my backswing. Look out. We got a shank. That's a terrible start. That's an absolutely horrible start. We are on the road. <laughs> um... A slow swing timer will cause your shot to curl to the left. Okay, sure. Are we still... That's out of bounds. All right. So we're already on shot three. That's pretty bad. Um, I don't know why I would use a five iron on this one. I feel like still would be better off going with the driver here. How about that? How about, Fast. Okay. That's, dude, honestly, the swing timing has been very tough for me to get in this game. Um... But it's, it's a learning process. Moving the swing stick to the left will cause your shot to launch to the left. This is called a push. Look, I'm, I'm honestly trying, all right? You, you might not think I am based on <laughs> this hole. That was, that was better, but very slow. But you know what? I mean, this hole is a lost cause. And it's possible on hole one, this round will be a lost cause. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, so a pitch causes the ball to bite a little bit, so it, it doesn't go as far. We can still, this is good practice, right? Um, so I think we'll lower, we'll, we'll try to put some loft and some backspin on this. And then I, I think the landing is pretty much perfect. Fast, but that's okay. Our backspin didn't really work, but we got on the fringe. This is now a chip shot for double bogey, which is, is truly horrible, I'll admit. Um, you want me to hit it around 60%? That would have been really nice on... Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? What's up with this green? The triple bogey. Um, all right. So you're, it's got me shooting way up because the green's rolling way down. We want to hit it about 63%, probably right around over here. And then let, let's use some putt resin. Okay. Honestly, that's great intel. At the speed at which we're going, we, we don't really need much change here. I mean, if anything, it's actually moving to the right, which makes no sense to me. But uh, let's try something like this. Could be. Bro, it it was so hard it rattled off the pin. All right, so that's like a quintuple bogey. No, it's just quadruple, just quadruple. Okay, so we got a we got a par three here. Let's look at this. We can make this happen. We can make this happen. If we land it like this, is no good. You know, it's gonna bounce too far. So maybe we want to go five hybrid. Alternatively, I don't know how much sauce you can put on a driver. But if we go like super backspin on the five wood and then maybe also take it down to like 96 power and then like over here, I think there's a chance. A hole in one would go a long way right now. Perfect swing, 98% power. It's going to go too far still. 
I should have clubbed down, but uh, it's a much better stroke. I'm honestly round one. Let's just treat it as like a little bit of a warm up, shall we? All right, I I, I support the chip here. I think that the the chip at ninety six percent is about where we want to be, um, and we're just gonna account for some roll in the green. A slow, I don't know if it's slow back swing or slow four spin, four swing. <laughs> now for this kind of putt, I don't think we want to use putt resin. I think we just want to try our best. Little hard on, little heavy on the putt, but we still got. It. Okay, there we go. We're starting to rebuild. I mean, if there's any day where it's going to be relatively easy. To make up a huge deficit. That's fine. We can live with that. It's going to be day one. Because everybody's going to be a little rusty. And the swing timing is a little bit less lenient than it was in the Golf Club 2019. But I don't know what, what settings everybody else is playing at. I guess if they went... Um, this is a tough one. We might want to even club up. And then loft down. And like try to hit it like here... Not loft down, really. Hold on. Like, we want backspin for sure. For more bite. And then I think if we go like a little, just a little like that, that might be better. Like, like this. Anyway. Uh, if they go am instead of pro am, which is what we're on, they might have a chance. Or they, let me rephrase. They might, because we're at plus four. I'm not bragging. But they might have a chance to get the swing timing just be better by default. Perfect. I, a little bit of a... Uh, the wind took it more than I thought. And we, we probably should have kept the power a little lower. But we do have a birdie chance here. I'm just going to... Again, I, the long putts are kind of where I'm feeling like... Wait, hold on. It's, no, I don't think we should use our second resin yet. We're just going to hit it a little lighter than we thought was necessary. It's going to bite way too much. But we got a good putt for par. Okay, par putt coming up. I hit it a little hard. Honestly, putting is a lot more difficult too. <laughs> it's not an easy game. So this we just want straight back. Oh, that's... What do you mean very slow, dude? I'm sure you didn't plan... I'm going to be honest, like, to me, it feels exactly the same. But how, how can you stay mad at that face? Um, now, here, I mean, if what we want to do is get high enough on this thing that it gets over the tree. Could be worse, honestly. Not good, but could be worse. Now, we still really only want to use our 5-iron here because we're in the rough. Look at how slow the swing was there. Like, it's the meter that's on top of our power meter. It's just surprising to me. Okay, so we got a lob wedge. It is going to bounce a little bit when it when it hits, but I don't think this gets us. I think this shot is too safe. I think we would rather try to, you know, beat the system. This is the shot that, that appeals to me more right here. Let's try it. Fast this time. The wind will counteract a little bit. I'm, I'm happy with that. And this is a bogey putt where we really just need to be pretty straight on here. I can live with that. You know what? We're making progress. This is a plus five, which is horrible. But admittedly, four of that came on hole one. Just grip it and rip it, buddy. Good. Slightly Great. fast. That one up. That was a huge try. Might still stay on the fairway. All right, up it's okay. It's okay. Spinach. Let me look at this. Heavy rough. 170 yards carry. I would, I would under hit it even a little bit more. Even with the wind. I think I like it right about there. Perfect swing. Okay, dude, if I could get my swings under control, 
Life is but a dream. I mean, that's an incredible hit, right? What, what can you say about that? For an actual birdie. For an actual birdie. All right, let's take this for birdie and peace out. What do you say? This putt's tracking. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bird. <laughs> All right, six holes left. I believe we have two putt resins left. Which is actually totally fine by me. I don't know, dude. I'm like, maybe we don't want to drive on this one. Maybe we'd be happier with a little three wood action. This is a tricky hole. Very slow. What are you talking about? But honestly, we got we got lucky. We clubbed down. Left us in an okay position. Although we might still roll. No, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be straight. Very slow, huh? Sixth hole. This is a par five, so I'm not sweating this right now. Heavy wind as well. Heavy wind. I honestly don't know what to say. Oh, like, in, <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I'm sw just swinging. But uh, obviously sometimes, you know what? Maybe I'm too in my own head. We're in pine straw right now. I think we want something like this. Uh, you know what? We can actually put a little fade on this shot or a little draw. Just wanted to miss the tree. And this looks, to, if, if this works, we're actually at real genius hours. He really said rut row, huh? It, look, for all I, that we did there, that still kind of worked. All right, this is a birdie chip. We want to use the splash shot. What's what's the resin on the splash shot? Uses a full backswing, but it keeps the ball on a low flight trajectory. Ah, uh, You can use it to hit under tree cover, which is what we should have done last time. Okay. I mean, if you if you like it, I like it. That was a perfect stroke, which felt amazing. And honestly, there's no need for putt res in here. Just gotta send it. Beautiful. We got a par on, dude. I'm actually, except for hole one, we're an even golfer right now. I'm very proud of myself, quite honestly. Now, don't get this twisted. This this should be fine. Well, it is. You know what? This is where we want to put another. Just a, just a light kind of. I don't know if it's a draw or a fade, but you know what I mean. And then send it, dude. Didn't sound like the purest of strokes. I I honestly still have no idea what very slow means. Um, but you know what? We're hidden off a of short grass. Setting up here from the deep stuff. No, it's heavy rough. My mistake. That was that was fast. I don't know. This one could go either way. John, I appreciate your desire to well, not the best result be a nice guy. We we both know that's not going either way. So this one, I'm telling you. The, the pitching wedge is not going to do it. We're going to need uh, a 9 iron. We're going to try to hit it about 94% power. Maybe maybe 93% power. With a clean stroke. A little slow is fine. I don't care if we don't... Okay, we should have clubbed down a little bit for sure. I don't care if we don't get perfect. It's merely like when we when we're way off that it really stinks. I'm fine with this. I think 100% chip is fine. And I don't know, like... That, uh, look, it's for bogey, but it's a beautiful chip. What can you say? You know, we're very happy with it. We're on hole eight. If my new goal... We got a goal here as well, but like a real goal. But my new goal is if I could just get... A scratch golf. Fast? I'll take it, though, because it's going against the wind. If I could just get... A, if I could be an even golfer minus hole one, I think I would be a very happy camper. And you know what? 
That's a good shot there. We, we achieved our goal. We got 20 experience, whatever the heck that means. So seven iron. We want to clum, clum? We want to club way down. Maybe even to like here. And then just send it. That was not clubbing down. It was, it was adjusting our position. But honestly, we should have come even further down. We did hit that lady right in the face. So I apologize for that. Um, this is one where I'm like, dude, we don't want to pitch, right? We want to splash this shot. Where does the splash go? Oh, not even close. But what if you club up into the splash? Might go a little too far. It's also designed for a headwind. And this is a tailwind. But you know, we're in desperate times call for desperate measures. That seems like a good shot, but we should have put some uh, bite on it. Now, I think we got two resins left. To me, this looks like good resin opportunities. I think, like, this looks good to me. Let's see what they think. Ladies and gentlemen, that's bang on. I'll take it. All right. Hole nine. It's a par three. Now, look, nobody is going to look at this run right here and be like, great job. This is exactly what you were looking for. That that much is noted. Did this one, I, I almost think we want to go full power. Or even like driver, but like, like this level of power. <laughs> and an insane... Uh, like bottom spin. But again, I don't even know if you can do that with the driver. Like the swing timing is getting real touchy. I think you still give it a try. Perfect swing, dude. Anyway, like I said, no, and we still went way too far, but... Nobody is going to look at this and be like, hey, that's what you were looking for, right? A plus five. But um, I'm, I'm proud of myself for how we pulled it together after things went terribly wrong. So I think, like, we're just going to look at our putt resin from 21 feet away. And, uh, I mean, you can run the numbers for yourself on this one. <laughs> we need to be way over here. And if this goes in, I mean, this is legendary status. I'm happy with the power. It's a little light, but I think that's better than it being a little heavy. We're still going to roll way out of the way. And this is for par. Beautiful. Okay, I think we got our sea legs in this one. I did not have an amazing performance, but I think we did okay. We shot a plus five and unlocked some stuff. Now I can get a sun visor. Um, final score of 40. Best of luck to everybody else. It was a little spicy for sure today. Difficulty easy. It scares the crap out of me. But I think we're starting to get it. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We got six more Golden Goblets and a lot of PGA Tour 2K21 coming. But for now, thanks for watching. And uh, GoldenGoblet.net. Check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives. And I'll see you tomorrow. See ya.